Hello, this is Yogeshwar 7000 again, and I'm back on my series on chakras. And chakras, I've already mentioned in my earlier videos, they are very closely associated or connected with the planets. And in our earlier videos, we did discuss about the root chakra, which was which is the first chakra represented by the planet Sun. The second chakra which is Swadhisthana Chakra, which is associated or connected with the planet Moon. The third chakra, which is the Manipur Chakra, which is associated with the planet Mars. The fourth chakra, which is the Anahata Chakra, which is connected with the planet Mercury. And today's discussion will be on Vishuddha Chakra, which is the fifth chakra in the series and uh, earlier we've discussed how, what is a chakra their energy centers what's a nari and naris are subtle energy channels there are 72,000 of them in our bodies not physical but they are subtle energy channels and how they connect to these seven chakras or energy centers and what is the Sushmana Nari, how the chakras or, or how the Sushmana Nari energy channel goes up through these seven chakras and how important it is for us to make sure that these chakras are not blocked. How important it is, it is for us to see that if there are blockages, we need to clear these blockages because along with these blockages, a lot of mental spiritual and physical problems manifest so we'll be discussing today about Vishuddha chakra what it's all about and how do we balance this chakra how do we heal this chakra in case there is a blockage now the area of this chakra is the throat area so the physical problems in case this chakra is blocked which manifest would be the regions of the throat which is very important thyroid thyroid problems the areas al along the neck the mouth the tongue and anything around the the, the throat area and uh, the physical problems which are associated with in case with this chakra in case this chakra is blocked is inability to speak or express so you would have seen a lot of people with not be able to express because just the words don't come out you know it's people who cannot speak in front of an audience people who cannot communicate well people whose voice may be hoarse people whose throat kind of get hurt or get tired sort of in case they speak a little more than normal so they cannot speak for a continuous period of time longer than a few words or a few sentences uh, also another problem associated with this chakra could be listening as well so listening disabilities is also associated with this with this chakra and um, the planet associated with this chakra is Jupiter so uh, like we've discussed planets in our earlier videos related to the earlier four chakras the planet rela related to this throat chakra or Vishuddha chakra as we say in Sanskrit is Jupiter so you would come across a person and if you see a problem related to the th throat chakra obviously you know that there could be a problem with the throat chakra but along with the throat chakra there may be problems in the earlier chakras as well meaning which there could be a problem either the first the second the third or the fifth chakra or the fourth chakra rather because in case the fifth is blocked you know that the blockage could be related to this chakra or the blockage could be related to the earlier chakras because as we've discussed that this energy flow the subtle energy flow 
goes along the sushmana nari and goes up through the chakras and if there is a problem in earlier chakras it's but obvious that the fifth chakra the vishuddha chakra also may come under a situation where the energy may be blocked here in the throat chakra or because the energy is getting blocked in some of the earlier chakras as well so and on the contrary if you look at a person who seems to have a clear vishuddha chakra a clear a clear uh, fifth chakra or the vishuddha chakra and also he's clear on his communication skills and it seems that that chakra is pretty much clear and free from any blockages we know that the earlier chakras are well taken care of they are balanced otherwise the energy flow to the fifth chakra would not be efficient enough to make sure this chakra is clear the fifth chakra is clear and there are no communication problems so one way to look at it is that you know look at the higher chakras and if the higher chakras is good enough you know that the, the earlier chakras are balanced because if the earlier chakras would not have been balanced the chakra which we are talking about would also have a problem so that is that is uh, one thing i wanted to discuss here that do not come to a conclusion if there's a blockage you feel in the fifth chakra do not come to a conclusion that the blockage may be related to just this chakra or the fifth chakra we're talking about the vishuddha chakra there may be blockages in the earlier chakras which may be stopping or obstructing the flow of energy through those chakras as a result of which there may be problems related to the fifth chakra or vishuddha chakra or communication problems or any physical problems related to the fifth chakra so as to we just discussed about the thyroid problems the jaw uh, the neck area and <clears throat> the tongue or even problems related to listening so how do we how do we kind of balance how do we kind of clear this chakra once again assuming that the other chakras the earlier chakras are clear enough so we'll be talking about vishuddha chakra there are ways which we have discussed in our earlier videos related to other chakras one is a mantra a mantra remedy <clears throat> and the mantra associated with this chakra or which corresponds to this chakra is hum so you write h u m and you'll get the right pronunciation so hum is one way where you know you can practice chanting this mantra also breathing exercises or pranayama has been found to be extremely extremely effective clearing this chakra but again with a word of caution that the pranayama exercises i've seen a lot of healers prescribing general pranayama or breathing exercises but no it has to be done under an expert vedic master and it has to correspond to the dosha you have in in your body and people who do not know what dosha is they can refer to my earlier videos there are three kinds of doshas which is a kapha dosha and uh, a pitta dosha and the vata dosha so uh, kata uh, kapha i'm sorry corresponds to the water element the pitta corresponds to the fire element and the vata corresponds to the air element and you know if you want to go into more details please refer to my earlier videos so pranayama or breathing exercises once again have to be done under the guidance of an expert yogic master and it should not be generalized because it could actually harm instead of providing um, a benefit to that person if it is prescribed as a general pranayama i've seen a lot of healers make that mistake so i wanted to bring this up to your attention also colors so what is the color of <clears throat> jupiter <clears throat> the cosmic color now we know the physical color of jupiter is yellow sapphire but the cosmic color of jupiter is pale blue so please please be very careful on that the planet which corresponds to this chakra is jupiter and the cosmic color is pale blue so pale blue is a good color to balance this chakra 
another another way is through yogic exercises or yogas but again it has to be done under the guidance of an expert yoga master no general exercises should be prescribed as i've seen a lot of healing healers making this mistake one good asana for this is the sarvangasana which is the shoulder shoulder stand asana that is very effective but once again do not take this recommendation as a general rule get guidance uh, under the advice of an expert yoga master who will look at your body structure who will look at your doshas and then prescribe the right asana for you so uh, that was another thing another way of clearing blockages around this chakra and a very important way to balance or clear this chakra is through gemstone therapy now as we know that this the color associated with the throat chakra or vishuddha chakra is blue or rather pale blue and it is associated with the planet jupiter whose gemstone yellow sapphire emits a cosmic color of pale blue so yellow sapphire is actually it looks yellow to our eyes but the cosmic color it emits is pale blue so a lot of yogic or a lot of healers make this mistake by prescribing blue stones to clear this chakra so they prescribe blue sapphires blue topazes um, sometimes turquoise as well but no don't look at the physical color because these stones which i just mentioned blue sapphires blue topazes and turquoises may look blue to the eye but their cosmic colors are different like in the case of in the case of blue sapphire the cosmic color of blue sapphire is violet uh, because it's represented by the planet saturn so please do not make this mistake use a yellow sapphire to clear bal to clear uh blockages around this chakra because the cosmic color of yellow sapphire and the planet jupiter is pale blue however with a word of caution again do not use yellow sapphire for this chakra in case your vedic birth chart does not allow yellow sapphire to be used meaning which in case jupiter is a malefic planet in your vedic birth chart or if jupiter although may not be malefic it cannot be used for that person based on that person's vedic birth chart then please 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 do not use yellow sapphire to clear the fifth or the vishuddha chakra because it'll, it can bring more harm than a benefit so hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, uh, in the meanwhile I'll, I'll recommend please subscribe to my channel and check out my website there is a link below and i will see and i will see you soon thank you very much for watching